Gene Deal, happy to have you back on the platform, man. It's been a while, man. I haven't had you on the platform in a long time, man. Man, stop playing, man. I ain't never left, man. <laughs> Shit. All I did was change clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to get right into it, man. How you feel about these rumors surrounding, you know, Diddy and T.D. Jakes? Man, what I think about it is this, you know. When I grew up in the church, the sinners was not supposed to have the same atmosphere with the saints. You had to be able to separate the two. So I'm looking at him as a saint going to a party that ain't nothing but sin, drinking, maybe fornication, man on man, woman on woman, he on she. But maybe he'd have to lay some hands on somebody. Maybe he'd have to save some souls. I know he got a contract with Revolt. So I'm just like, it, it's just real strange that he would be found at any kind of Diddy party or any kind of uh, place with Diddy unless it's in a business atmosphere. So now what he's doing is he's making, he, he, he man, he making the Christians look real bad right about now. And you've been to these parties, right? Oh, yeah. I, I was there when he was doing the white parties in the Hamptons and the whole nine yards. So I know what goes on at the parties. If, you know, they probably got a little bit more freakier, you know, as time went on, you know, because they got to the point where is that they didn't even care. It used to be secretly, you know, where people used to go to, you know, separate rooms and different rooms and they wasn't doing that out in the public, you know. So, But now they don't care. Men kissing men and all this other stuff. That's just crazy. So why do you think he was going to these parties? I think that he's going to the Diddy parties, you know. Bruh. <laughs> If he's going, well, we know he's going to the Diddy parties. And I know that it's, <laughs> I know what usually happens at the Diddy party or what we told this happened at the Diddy parties. Maybe he needs to see it for himself, man. Maybe he needs to go there and really be involved in some things that could help save some individuals while they go into those parties. or. Maybe he just going to, man, it, it, it's, it's hard. It's hard to even talk about why would you find a, a religious man, you know, when you know that the, the saints are supposed to separate themselves from the sinners. And why would a religious man like himself be at a party, which is ain't nothing but sin that's going on, bro. When it's drinking, maybe fornicating, maybe, like I said, men on men, women on women. It, it, it's hard to, 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 to put in perspective unless he's involved in himself what is actually going on at the parties. It, it's hard, brother. Bro, you know, you can't, I, 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 I really don't know why as a spiritual advisor to him that they buddy buddy while they well he got a party with him like that and be at his parties. It's got to be maybe it's something more that meets the eye. You know I, I don't know. You know, I've had uh you know I've I've talked to preachers and I've talked to to reverends and priests, but they ain't never came to a party with me or nothing like that. So it's hard to figure that one out, bruh, without even saying, you know, what people might be thinking. But I heard that there's supposed to be some tapes or something that's coming out real soon. And I guess we'll all really know the truth if anything's on those tapes. 
from your point of view, right, when you look at T.D. Jakes, your point of view, your opinion, do you take him serious as a pastor? Do I take him serious? That's not my type of pastor. You know, you got to look at a person's household, and if your household is not in order, you understand, how you going to help somebody else get their house in order? You know, one of his sons got arrested, you know, some years ago in Dallas, you know, allegedly for being found in the park where a bunch of people that are homosexuals hang out and indulge in sexual activity. And I heard his two sons, which are not his biological sons, both of them are from that LGBT community. Now, how you gonna help me straighten out my house? And to me, your house ain't in order. Not saying that something is wrong with them being and choosing that lifestyle, but something is wrong with them choosing that lifestyle being in a household with a reverend. 